Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is another roll of 35mm film. This is actually another disposable Fujifilm camera. Um, I really like the disposable cameras because I think they're really easy to use. Obviously you don't have a lot of control over the different settings because there really aren't any, um, but they are just really easy to use and you often get a lot of pictures back on your roll which is quite pleasing. Um, the downside is that they are disposable so they're single use so cost per use is higher um, and also it's not great for the environment. But I just got a couple for um, taking pictures pictures of my new baby. Um, I brought them like before I had the baby um, just to use in the early few weeks. So this is my second one that I um, have had back from the developers. Um, so there's quite a few pictures of uh, portrait pictures which don't work so great on YouTube I know um, but of me carrying the baby because I was actually able to get out and about in September and take some pictures of him and so I had him in the carrier. Um, it's not that easy to take pictures of him in the carrier, um, not that I would want a whole load of pictures of him on the internet but um, just for my own personal use. Um, taking pictures of myself is a little bit awkward when you're carrying the baby anyway to take a selfie without bashing him in the head. Um, but also you just don't really see his face. So this was one of my walks just to um, the co-op to buy some bread and sweets and junk food that I shouldn't be eating. Um, and there's just this random owl um, sculpture carved into an old tree um, that they cut down so um, I thought I'd stop and take a picture of that and then obviously I had to take then a selfie of me and the baby with the owls which then you can't really get in, they weren't really in the picture but that's the other thing about taking selfies with a um, non-digital camera is that you don't have the screen to look at so I was just trying to see the reflection of myself in the um, lens and the viewfinder on the camera to see that I was actually in the shot um, and that's what I was going with and I did actually do it quite successfully I found this one is easier to take selfies with than some of the other ones one of the main perks uh, or one of the main reasons why it's easier is that it's quite light um, and like I said you don't have all the settings so you just click a button and you can so you can hold it easily in your hand and then just press the button rather than having to faff around changing settings or um, doing anything complicated when you're trying to take the image. So these are just some shots of the walks that I was going on and um, I went out on a few along the canal near where we live so I was quite pleased that I was able to get out and do like a proper walk. It's about three miles um, along the canal and then back to our house and um, which was definitely the furthest that I've walked since having the baby so that was quite a sort of achievement milestone for me um, and then I also did a couple of little ones just like I said to the co-op to buy junk food mainly and bread because I have a bread thing happening bread obsession um, so I also went through the park in the local park in the town where we live um, and so this is just one picture of me squinting into the camera uh, with the town in the background and I'm just standing in the park. We also were able to meet up with some family so we went to um, the Sculpture Park which is a art gallery, an outdoor art gallery where the sculptures are all outside in the um, open space as well as some indoor galleries and um, so it is quite a nice place to like wander around um, with a family and um, it is still super awkward at the moment with um, the lockdown rules and social distancing and um, it meant that we had to uh, some people couldn't come because we had too many people because the baby <laughs> counts as a person um, kind of obviously but um, we're in England where children count as people when you're uh, meeting up but in Scotland they don't so we can only have six people meet up at one time which does limit ha like who we're able to see so it was nice to be able to see uh, my boyfriend's side of the family so that that his mum the baby's grandmother could actually meet him for the first time um, it has been kind of drawn out with the family meeting the new baby because of lockdown and um, restricting where and when we can meet people and um, but luckily we were able to um, have this meet up despite some restrictions so we're just walking around um, the park with the baby in the pushchair which was really awkward to push on grass so next time we will probably carry him in the carrier because that will actually be easier um, but yeah, these are just some of the shots that I got of him and also of the artwork. Um, it works quite well with the ca camera. Um, I think some of the pictures are a bit overexposed. It was quite a nice sunny day, although it was a little bit chilly in the wind. Um, but some of the sky looks a little bit lighter than it perhaps should do. Um, but I do find that often um, my images do come back overexposed. But I find that it, the exposure is probably the hardest thing. 
um, for me to get right and like I said I had no control over it with this camera so I am quite pleased with how it all came out and the images do look quite um, quite clear, quite crisp for what you're going to get with this kind of camera because um, non-digital analog cameras um, don't work very well in low light conditions so it was a nice sunny day so that was very handy. We are now getting into that time of year where the daylight is a bit rubbish and grey even in the middle of the day. It just looked kind of grey and then the days are going to get shorter. Um, in October the clocks will go backwards. Is that right? Yeah. Backwards so um, it then means that the day is even shorter and darker or it feels darker. Um, so it does make it harder to take analogue pictures in the winter. So I always try and take them in the summer but what with lockdown and everything it has been a little bit different difficult to get any um, decent pictures. If you can hear any funny noises next to me that is my baby making um, odd grunting noises in his sleep because that's what babies do I've learnt and he's lying next to me taking a little nap, kind of a nap. Um, so you can see in this image that it is a bit overexposed and in the distance uh, it's not as crisp as you would expect from a digital camera um, or even just my phone takes quote unquote better pictures um, but the analogue cameras take unusual fun and unexpected pictures and um, there's a nostalgia attached to it I suppose for me remembering taking um, disposable analogue cameras on holiday and things and then waiting for the films to come back which I do not have the patience for anymore. can't believe that we used to do that regularly, wait weeks for pictures to get developed. But anyway that is the end of the roll so I hope you've liked this video. Please give me a like if you have and subscribe to see more.